Clockwork Empires is a steampunk themed colony building and management game, but upon release the game got massive backlash and soon after it appears the game was abandoned altogether. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of What Happened To, a series where we take a look at some of the most anticipated sandbox games and discuss their unique features, issues during development and get an update on the current state of the game. Just a quick reminder, this series is designed to highlight the good and bad during and after development in order to create discussion and share opinions, while also providing interesting facts about the game. Before we get into the problems, let's take a look at what the game's core features are and the vision for the game. Clockwork Empires resembles something between Door Fortress and Age of Empires, with a number of colonists that you command who will generally follow your orders as long as they're kept well fed, cared for and lick it up. Each colonist will have certain personality traits that impact how well they go about their tasks and cope with tragedy. The player must also attempt to keep all the aspects of their colony in line while also fending off invasions of terrifying otherworldly creatures and cultists. While Clockwork Empires lets you build an extensive colony with mines, workshops, distilleries and other buildings with complicated infrastructure of pipes and cogs, the real fun will just be in succeeding and growing your colony, or also leading it to its utter devastation and ruin, all for the greater glory of the empire. The game rewards your noble attempts at taming the frontier and encourage you to forge your own colonial tales of despair, tragedy, cosmic horror and cabbages. I was really excited to try this, and I did buy the game when it was in early access on Steam. It showed a lot of potential and was fun for the little amount of content that was available. But sadly I couldn't play for very long as the game would start to lag and bug out. I did overlook this as it was still in early access at the time, and I understood optimizations were still to come. The game received some updates throughout its time in early access and it had its full release on October 16th, 2016. Clockwork Empires had a lot of mixed reviews and it seen the game launch with bad optimization and still was full of bugs and glitches. It was not surprising that a few months later, Gaslamp Games ceased operations. While the company did not appear to announce it was no longer operating, employees posted on social media that they were no longer working for the company after Christmas holidays of 2016. There have also been no social media posts by the company and no further developments to their games after this time. After being abandoned, the game is still available to buy through Steam for 29 Australian dollars, which I believe is completely wrong. The game has mixed reviews and a lot of negative feedback on the current state of the game. The community have taken it upon themselves to try to save Clockwork Empires with projects like CE Compatch, which can be found at the CE Community Patch Steam Group and the official Clockwork Empires forums. The only problem is, without access to the in-game engine, it makes their job a lot harder, and so far, numerous attempts have been made to get in contact with the developers to try to release this. With some luck, the community will be able to save this title, as it was a really interesting concept and it was a great deal of fun when it worked. What are your thoughts on Clockwork Empires and did you get a chance to try it? Feel free to join the discussion below and share your thoughts on the game. Thanks for watching, happy sandboxing and I'll see you in the next video.